Today, we're gonna surprise my brother by paying off his student loans. This is a giant amount. It's over $100,000. We'll be crashing a Zoom call with all of Matt's family and tricking his brother by playing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It's the holidays, and if my brother wins this challenge, we're gonna pay off his student loans. In case you guys don't know, both Matt's brother and his sister in law are teachers, and their salaries this year were cut by 30%, which is huge. And you guys know how hard teachers work already. So, this is gonna be such a big deal when they find this out. I have I have no idea how they are going to react, but first, they have to win Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Yes, okay, the Zoom call is gonna start in about one minute. Do you have the questions all set? I don't write questions. I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. It's in one minute. I'll start working on the questions for fifth graders. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll stall your family then. Just stall, just stall. Same family now. Oh, no, no. I thought Rebecca had looked up the answers and questions for the Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader part. Some books right here. Oh, no, no. Al is online now. I can watch everything that happens in Rebecca's house. All right, hey, family, what is up? Hi. So we're working on getting everything ready, but in the meantime, I thought someone could sing maybe Jay some Silent Night. I mean, you have a beautiful singing voice. You know, you're probably one of the most talented singers I know. Wow, you guys, I guess I'm actually moving out. I just have my last couple of things here, you know. Got some beanies. Can't forget my hacker wires. I mean, you know what? Maybe I should give Zoe a call and thank her. I never really actually thanked her once she gave me these wires. Zoe. Wait, that's weird. The call went straight to voicemail. She usually answers right away. Let me try calling her just one more time. Zam Bam, the call went straight to voicemail again. Why do you think Zoe isn't picking up? Maybe she's busy hacking with color-coded wires. Let me get this other one. Oh, oh excuse me. Right here. Okay. Silent night, holy night. Stop that. Stop swooning. He isn't even that good. Rebecca's holding my... Wait, I'm almost ready, I'm almost ready. Jake, sing it like voice to Mendes. I got it, I'm almost there. Silent The only thing I hate more than sibling love is people who think they can sing better than me. Time to put an end to this. Okay, same fam, I think I have enough questions right now. My family doesn't suspect anything. Matt, are we okay. good? Yeah, I got family, hey. Hey. Today we are doing, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Family edition. Yes. Does anybody think that they're smarter than a fifth grader? No. No. <laughs> okay, well pretend like it at least, okay, please. Zane fam, do you think that you are smarter than a fifth grader? If you are, comment that down below and maybe you can play along as well. We have some very awesome questions here that we're gonna ask my family. All right, I'm just so happy that I am not playing. <laughs> yes, does everybody have their envelope? You have to make sure you have your envelope. Boom. Perfect. You cannot open that whatever you do. If you win this challenge, there's an awesome prize inside of everybody's envelope. It could be $10,000. We're not quite sure. It could be nothing. But today we're going to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Okay? With the power of this mask, I can take over Matt's brother. All right, question number one. The words an and a are known as what in English grammar? Uh, so tough! Conjunction. You cannot say it right now. Zam fam, if you know the answer to this, comment it below. That means that you might be smarter than a fifth grader. I honestly don't know the answer to this. Prime numbers. Oh. I don't left that. Okay, just gonna pack that up. You know, don't wanna leave that here. Zoe, it is not like her to not pick up. That's so strange. What do you think Zoe could be doing right now? You know what, I'm just gonna keep on calling her until she picks up. I mean, that's gonna work, right? Two. Voicemail again. Three, two, one, show us your answers. So, Abe, you said- Conjunction. Conjunction, you're just cheating off dad, apparently. Preposition. Proposition. Preposition. Big one. I said preposition. Jake, prime numbers. Oh, that's not what I meant to say. I'm Matt's brother and I'm dumber than a fifth grader. That was a joke, laugh at that. <laughs> the actual answer, guys, just so you guys know, is articles. So if you got that right, you you got a point. Apparently nobody in here got a point. Maybe somebody has Amphian back there. Wait, what do you mean that's not what you meant, Jake? I don't know. Like, I knew it, but I don't know. Go to the next one. Let's move on to the next one. Thanks, Jake. That's awesome. You know what, Matt? I'm going to be back. Just hold on. I'll be back, but keep playing. Okay, guys. Question number two is, what is the name of the sea bordered by Europe to the north and North Africa to the south? The Sea of Texas. Okay, so it looks like Matt has things under control. His brother's going to get so emotional when he finds out what is actually happening. But right now, I'm gonna check on Maddie. She's still moving out and she's packing right now. In three, two, one, show us your answer. Okay, looks like Rachel has Mediterranean. Mom, hold it up closer, I can't see it. It's a bunch of waves. Huh? That's not, okay, and Jake has the Atlantic. The only person that got the answer right is Rachel. Mediterranean, Jake, Sea of Texas. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> 
I was way off. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. We're gonna keep this going, okay? So before I go check on her though, Zamfam, I want to let you guys know that I'm doing a huge give back video for you guys. Matt is doing it for his brother, but this year I wanted to do it for you guys. So stay tuned for that. That will happen in the next video. But right now I'm gonna go and check on Matt. Yeah. We're not available. Hey, it's wrong. Just Zoe didn't pick up her phone again. I keep calling her for the past 15 minutes, and it's not like her to not answer by now. Hold on, let me try calling her. I'm sure she's hacking, you know. She always picks up for me. Hold on. No offense. Hello, we're not available. That's weird, straight to voicemail. You know what, at your going away party, we never saw when Zoe left. Wait, we did the face reveal of the Halloween hacker, but Zoe wasn't there. Zamfam, was Zoe there? I can't remember, I mean, I remember her giving me a present. Try calling Daniel. Daniel will know. Okay. Hey Daniel! Hey Maddie, hey Rebecca. We were just calling on Maddie's phone because we were wondering if you had talked to Zoe. Uh, no, I haven't seen her at all. Okay, that's weird. We tried calling her and her phone was off. Is there any way you could maybe like locate her phone? Fine, I'll try to call her. Okay. It just went straight to voicemail. That's so weird. Maybe her phone's dead, but she's a hacker. Her phone's never dead. Let me see if I can trace her phone. I'm triangulating it right now. I'm sure she's color coding wires or something. Oh, I found her. Where, oh. where is she? It says right outside your house. She's here? Oh, maybe she came. Never said she was coming, but that's awesome. Okay, we gotta go meet her. Thank you. Thanks. This is the easy one, okay? What is the primary difference between ocean water and tap water? The ocean can't dance. Three, two, one. Show us your answer. Rachel, salt and fish. There's fish, I guess, yeah, good point. Salt, salt, salt. The ocean can't dance. Oh, the ocean can't dance. Tap water. Boom. Zoe? I don't see her. That's weird. Daniel said she was outside the house. Maybe we need to go look for her? I mean, what do you think she's doing? Rebecca, how's the game going with Matt's family? Does Jake have any idea that Matt's gonna be surprising him? No, Jake has no idea, but they're actually pretty good at the game. Like, a lot smarter than a fifth grader than we were when we, you know, crashed Zoom calls. But Matt's brother has no idea, Zamfam. Comment below what you think his expression is gonna be. I mean, teachers, they're like the most deserving people out of anyone. Especially like during times like these. I agree. Wait, isn't that Zoe's hat? I don't know what's going on. I know the answer. I really just don't know what's going on. Perfect. Well, Jake, you know you're gonna be okay. I have faith in you. You can do it. Stay confident. Like, honestly, though, Jake, you're one of the smartest guys I know. Besides Rachel, obviously, she's the smartest here. But you're one of the smartest guys I know. That's so nice. Thank you. Yeah. You have an amazing wife, some good siblings, pretty good siblings, okay? Everything's gonna be okay. You're a great teacher. <laughs> honestly, guys, I, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be right back, okay? Zamfam, you guys remember Maddie's going away party was Nightmare Before Christmas and Zoe was dressed up as a witch. Is this her hat? I mean, I think it looks like her hat. Why would she just leave it on the side of the house? What would she be doing on the side of the house? She always takes the tunnel system. True, and there's like nothing to hack into on the side of the house. Look, like this line right here. Hold on, maybe she's Zoe? Ooh, what are all these rocks? I don't know, someone must have messed these up. Hold on, look at this. Wait, there's like two lines. Two lines? Why would there be two lines in the gravel? Let's walk the lines. Walk the line, you guys know that movie? Maddie, what? Isn't this Zoe's phone? Wait, it's on the ground? There's a passcode and it's at like 2%. Okay, wait, what's her what passcode? Should we go through her camera roll? I mean, yeah, but what would Zoe's passcode be? He's calling. Hey Matt. Daniel. What are you doing right now? I'm on Zoom with my brother and my family. What does your brother look like? He looks like me, but just a little bit taller. Okay, and has he said anything weird? Actually, yes, he said the ocean can't dance. That's it. I saw your brother's face on Kingpin's mask, and she said the same exact thing. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, I don't know. So, somehow she is doing it, but the Kingpin is controlling what he is saying, but it's only for like small amounts of time. How long? It, it looks like it's only maybe like 15 seconds. 15 seconds, okay. Uh, is there a way to fix it? Yeah, okay, I have been hacking in, and I was able to disrupt the signal momentarily. Okay, well that's better than nothing. Yeah, but be careful. It runs on cell phone towers, so if there are any dead spots in your house, you might not be safe. Okay, thanks Daniel. It looks like the Kingpin's trying to control my brother. That actually makes a lot of sense. I thought he was weird, but not that weird. You guys, what are some four digit passcodes? Maybe like 6002, no. Okay, this might take a while. I have no idea what Zoe's passcode would be. 111. Rebecca. What? Zoe's phone was left on the side of the house. We found her hat out front and there's these two lines. So Zoe doesn't like circle? No, no, okay, wait, fall into me. I have an idea. You want to trust fall. You can trust me, I'm your cousin, twin. What is the point of this? I thought we're trying to find a Zoe. Okay, now look, I'm dragging you. Oh. Wait, 
You think Zoe was taken? I think Zoe was taken, but by who? And why would she have been out here in the first place? I mean, your going away party was inside until the end with the Halloween hacker. Did the Halloween hacker take her? But no, we saw the Halloween hacker at the end and Zoe was already gone then. Okay, you know what? You gotta tell Matt right now. But he's on the Zoom call with his yeah. family. Oh, well, this is really important. If someone took Zoe, we need all hands on deck. Let's go. We might need to stop the Zoom call right now. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, Zoe's calling. Zoe, but is this her phone? Zoe? Hey, I'm calling you from a new number. You left your old phone here. Yeah. I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be busy for the next couple of days, but I hope you love the color-coded wires. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Zoe. I love them. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. That was weird. So I guess Zoe wasn't taken. Yeah, I wonder who left those skid marks then. What was that for? All right. We're back Ooh. to deal with some stuff. Sorry about that, guys. Jake, you okay? Yeah. I am feeling much better. I'm feeling so good. What? Yeah. Okay. Next question here. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Whoever wins might win $10,000. Rachel, what would you do with $10,000? I don't know what I would do. Probably your dad a motor Motorcycle. Dad, you would buy a motorcycle? <laughs> buy Rachel's dad a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac, what would you do with $10,000? He'd take his girlfriend on a date, a really nice Ooh. one. Date for Isaac. Mom, what would you do? I would buy all those people some blankets so they'll be warm. Or buy her husband a motorcycle. No. <laughs> Jake, Lindley, what would you guys do with $10,000? Buy a new car. Car for this one. Cycle. Sounds like fun. You guys have to have the eye of the tiger. Right now, Rachel's winning by a lot. You guys have to kind of kick back into gear, okay? Question number, I don't know. <laughs> a squared plus B squared equals C squared Ooh. is known as the... Oh, I know this one. Shh, you can't tell Comment below if you know it. I learned this when I had to yep. study for a Zoom class when we crashed classes. Three, so. two. Two, one. Reveal your answers. Pythagorean theorem or a right angle. It is Pythagorean theorem. Question <laughs> after that last one. Which <laughs> country is both an island and a continent? Same thing. If you know what it is, play along. How would you know that? Or just Google it on your phone. Except the people here. They're obviously playing. Three, two, one. Reveal your answers. Oh, three. Everybody got it right. How did everyone know that? I did not know that. My family is so smart. They're we're, smarter we're, than a fifth grader. The descendants of borderline genes. You're referring to mom, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I, that's exactly <laughs> what. Okay, next. Next question. Who is the author of To Kill a Mockingbird? Reveal your answers in three, two, one. Jake K. Rowling. No, Jake, that's <laughs> Harry Potter. I would have said the same thing. It is Harper Lee. Jake's Stop. trolling us. I think. Good job. Yes, yes. Comment below if you know who Jake K. Rowling or what books she wrote. Let me take a quick break. I have to just kind of sort through a few of these real quick. Can anybody hear me? Or mute it. <laughs> okay, it's working. Perfect. Thank you. Ooh, okay, I am just glad that Zoe is safe. I was really worried there for a second, but I am so excited for Matt, and he's giving back to his family. I can't wait to see how his brother reacts. That reminds me, Zamfam, this weekend, Rebecca is going to be giving back to all of you because I know that times have been really tough, but she wants to give back to you and make your holidays a little bit brighter, and there's going to be a big surprise, but I can't say what it is, but you're going to want to see it. Wait, I just realized that's the day I'm officially moving out. All right guys, so I just texted everybody in my family not to get any of the questions right from now on. Now we're gonna really figure out exactly what this challenge is all about. This is gonna be so emotional. I'm covering my mouth so they can't see what I am saying, but you guys, they're gonna have no idea. Jake and Lindley are gonna be so surprised. You guys comment below what their reaction is going to be. I might cry. Here we go guys. If the train leaves the station and travels 60 miles per hour, how much time will it have passed when it arrives at a station 300 miles away? Three, two, one. Show us your answer. 45. 45? Five. Two minutes. 20 hours. 600. The correct answer is five hours. <laughs> Jake, you got it right. Next question. The interior angles of a triangle always sum to three, two, one. Reveal your answers. 23 degrees. 100. 100. 180. Okay, well, at least we got one person getting that right. A hexagon has how many sides? Three, <gasps> two, one. Reveal your answers. Seven. Six. Uh, the correct answer is six. <laughs> if you need one half cup of flour and you only have one fourth measuring cup, how many times do you need to use it to get the right amount of flour. Three, two, one. Three, I've been cooking. Three. <laughs> Purple. Purple. What? Okay, it's two times. This is the last and final question, guys. How many people are college graduates in here? Oh, I'm <laughs> I don't know if that was an answer. <laughs> You're not a college graduate, Isaac. You're still in high school. <laughs> How much debt does a normal college graduate have? Three, two, one. 60K? 30K? Too much. Too much. <laughs> the answer is too much. That is it. Tally us up real quick. It looks like they came from behind. Jake and Lindley, you guys won. Challenge. You're smarter than a fifth grader! Yay! You guys won, so you get to open up your envelope and show us what you got. Open it up! It's so amazing! It's playing! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did we switch envelopes? Uh, Abe, can you open up yours real quick? Dang. What does it say? Please. That's not it. Uh, Rachel. R. R. No? I, it's mom and dad's then. I made my own envelope. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a $5 bill in it. 
<laughs> Hold on, maybe it's in ours. All right, Jake and Lindley. I guess we have the final one in here. <laughs> Woo! We're paying off your student loans, you guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're paying off your student loans! <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, wow. That's not real. You're joking. Nope. Definitely not joking, and it's all on video, so if we were joking, that would be a really bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> so this is both of your guys' combined. Wow. That's huge. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. That's really Obviously, awesome. you guys are teachers, and it's crazy to me that teachers who are the most important people, I think, in many kids' lives, educating them are the ones that have to pay so much to go to school. Like, it's crazy that you are paying to, to help others. We know what you guys do is so important, and we know you guys give up a lot to help others and to help kids, and yeah, we just wanted to, Thank you to do something special for you guys. Thank you. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Do you think it's gonna change anything for you guys? Oh gosh, yeah. Life changing. Oh yeah. Like it's one of those things that you just assume you're gonna pay the rest of your life. We've been uh, trying to do good on budgeting and all that fun stuff. Cause the most immediate thing is to get her new wheels that will work. This just opens up so many doors. Yeah. Uh, that's crazy. One of the other things we've been talking about is when we decide to have kids, when we feel comfortable enough is I need to switch careers. Yeah. Different from what I wanted to do just to be able to provide for both of us. But that's not a thing anymore. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you to you guys actually too, because you guys have helped so much with our merch, all the ZamFam stuff, helping out mm -hmm. Trina. Like there's just been so much you guys have been able to do and like we couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you for all that. I'm really excited for you guys, man. Like Rebecca said, you guys have like spent so much time and Jake now helping out mom with her arthritis and everything and oh. <laughs> I can't imagine even now teaching kindergartners and music virtually. Like you guys have had like a huge challenge in the last year even. The basic needs to people, this is amazing. You have a school okay. set in your apartment, you know? <laughs> like that's crazy. You like have to have a set for you to be able to teach your students and your, your house has become also your office. I just want to help you guys out because you're helping so many people out. That's freaking huge. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I, I just want to say how um, amazing all of you are. And uh, this is pretty touching for me. So <laughs> thank you all very much. I love you all. Love you too, Mom. <laughs> all right, guys. We're going to end here. But um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, you won. Are you smarter than a fifth grader with yeah. the help of your lovely wife? So yeah. awesome job. Um, everybody was kind of in on it, but they didn't really know what was going on. But thank you guys. Merry Christmas Eve, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, Zam fam, and that concludes Matt surprising his brother and paying off all of his student loans. Obviously, things got emotional, but this is going to change their life. Like you heard him say, they're trying to start a family, and this is finally going to give them the opportunity to be able to do that. That, so super exciting. I'm okay. super proud of you. Thank you. Oh, hold on. Um, Daniel's calling. Hold on, speaker. Hey, hey, Daniel. I found out how to weaken Kingpin's power. When you gave back to your brother, the Kingpin's mask weakened. Looks like when you are doing generosity towards others, her mask and power gets weaker. Oh, so so Kingpin's mask gets weaker when there's generosity towards others? Okay, thank you, Daniel, for that information. Okay, Maddie, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking what you're thinking. Okay, Zam fam, you guys know that my next video is giving back to a ton of you guys. So not only are we giving back to you guys, we're gonna be able to weaken Kingpin's mess. Make sure you are subscribed to the Rebecca Zamolo channel. Shout out to you guys that got our merch and tagged us on Instagram. And you guys that have subscribed to our monthly subscription on our app for exclusive content. If you are one of those, comment below. What's the favorite thing that you have seen in that? All right, let's get ready to give back to the Zam fam.